thank you, Dad, for always being there, helping me. It means a lot. And I love you a ton. She was up on the 92nd floor, and actually when the plane hit, she was on the phone with her fiance, Al, in Chicago, describing the view of uh, the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, these people were loved. They, the effect of something like this hatred has a ripple effect forever. My life has not been the same since September 11, 2001. It, my life has been September 11, 2001. One of the hardest uh, uh, things to describe to people is missing someone. I just miss her presence, her humor, uh, her love. He was the first man I ever loved. He was my hero. I never thought that he wasn't gonna come walking out. Never, that really did not hit my mind until that night. Like that night was really when it was like, okay, there's, there, nobody's coming out of it. They weren't finding anybody. He had had surgery a few weeks before and that was his first day back. He was supposed to be on medical leave and he told the doctor, if you put me on medical, I'm, not, I'm gonna call out sick. So he's like, I wanna work. They never found him. So we do have a spot for him in St. Charles Cemetery. And he has a beautiful tombstone with his picture on it. But it's not the same, you know, to ha not have that something to say, hey, he was, he was here. Because it's almost like he was never here. You know, every year it's thrown in your face again. And it's very hard to walk away from that, you, know, you just gotta turn the TV off or close the newspaper and don't, don't watch it. The anniversary, you'll learn to live with it, you'll never forget it. I mean, there'll be days when it's just as bad as that exact day, but you know, you take out the good. That's what I've learned to do. That day is every day here. That morning is every morning. It just is there every single day. To lose a child, you have a child. Then nobody can replace them. You can have another child, but can't replace that one. And nothing can replace Kathy. This anniversary is big because it's 20 years, but every year it's a gut punch. There's no question. You know, we'll live with the scars the rest of our lives. For my own health, I decided I would not return for the memorial anniversary until it was completed. Ironically, it's completed and it's the 20th anniversary that coincide. And I will go back this year. to try to remember how we united, how the whole world united after 9-11, 2001. Because there was a great amount of empathy for, for this country at that time. This country was united from sea to shining sea. Maybe now would be a good time to let the divisiveness drop, let the knee-jerk vitriol drop. Just take a minute to pause, look deep into your own soul. I've never seen nothing like it in my life. I'm just trying to make my bullet. World trade. You got it.
Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune into our 24 7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.